Hello guys, my name is Carlos Becerra. Today we are going to learn how to migrate from JUnit 4 to JUnit 5. Here is a list of technologies, Spring Boot, Java 8, Tomcat 8, Maven, and of course JUnit 5. Let's start with the definition first. Uh, JUnit 5 follows a modular approach which makes extending the API easier. It's composed by, uh, by three modules. Uh, JUnit Platform, JUnit Jupyter, and JUnit Vintage. The platform is uh, responsible for running and discovering the test. It provides the test engine API. The Jupyter is to write JUnit 5 tests with its annotations. And the Vintage one uh, is to give support for JUnit 3 and JUnit 4. Okay, so let's get dirty. Um, put our hands in the code. So the it's a REST project. Uh, here we have the REST controller. Here, here we have the service implementation. So it provides uh, the business logic. And here is the repo. So uh, for the repository logic. So let's close this. So the process how I migrate stuff is first I read obviously the documentation, then uh, I update or remove the target library, and then I start fixing the red parts here in the project. So here is the full documentation of JUnit 5, but let's focus on the migration tips section. Basically, uh, we have a new package. Uh, or the unit Jupyter API. The section, the assert, assert class now it's called assertions. Um, for for each method we have its counterpart before, before each, after, after each. The same for before class and after class. Uh, uh, we should not use ignore anymore. Right now it's called disabled, and instead of run with we should use extend with. Okay, so let's start. So I'm gonna remove the the dependency of the unit four by making the exclusion here of the of the unit vintage module. I'm gonna save. It, okay, so the project is ready. Let's start with the controller. So here I have some notes. So auto configure mock MVC. So now we have auto configure mock MVC instead of web application configuration. We should remove the run width. And let's fix first the assertions, right? So let me check if there is any other. Okay, no. So and then we have before each, after each. Right. Ah, okay. So here we have an exception. So for the for exceptions, we now they use lambdas. So we should put our code inside that. Right. So make sure that is the same nested exception. Remove this and Control Shift O. Yes, we we want the Jupyter assertions. Finish. Ah, okay. So. Here, also, they move with this to the right part. Okay. Now it should work. Yes. OK, so let's move to the other one. So this is a simple class, a simple test. So instead of ignore, we have now disabled. Uh, OK, so we, sh we have assertions. So here, the same. You can make the static import as well. Uh, Control Chief O, assertions, okay, and also I'm gonna sh I wanna show you that we can use display name, so we can put a custom name for our test. Even we can customize uh, more of that. So line ar array split not empty test disable Chief O. Okay, so now the last one here, I use Mokito. Uh, I just want to focus my tests on the service implementation. So I mock the repository. So for that, as I told you, we should use extend width. 
and a copy here. So this is before each. Uh, do we have? A, yes, we have assertion. So let's fix that first. Assertions. Uh -huh. Control Shift O, assertion done. Yes, so now we are missing the exceptions. So we are going to use runtime. So let's copy the same for all of them and now put the code inside the lambda and remove this part. Here and the same is here. Okay, so everything seems to be fine. So let's run the test. So don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna provide you all the links for my project in JUnit 4, my project in JUnit 5, or the examples and the documentation is gonna be in the GitHub. Okay, so all our tests are okay. So look the naming convention, but focus on this one where we put the display name. So we have a custom name. And that's all. Thank you for watching.